Carissa Pavlika, TV fanatic. Hello, Mina and Maxwell. It's so nice to meet you. Hi, it's lovely to meet you. Kind of e, e meet you. <laughs> yes. With their separation from all of the adults, both Will and Penny have had to grow up quite quickly, um, even though they had previously had some fits and starts in that area. Starting with you, Mina, can you tell me where Penny is and how she's rising to that challenge? Yeah, I find it really interesting um, that the show is coming out and that we were filming when we did, because I think where Penny is is similar to where a lot of teenagers are right now after almost two years in isolation. Um, it kind of expedited her maturity a little bit when you're automatically more independent because you're on your own. Um, there were definitely some stops and starts in terms of, you know, she's in a place in her life where she has one foot in adulthood and one foot in childhood and she never really knows what leg to lean on. But I think that we see her grow more into the place that she's comfortable leaning on the side of independence and maturity um, rather than feeling like a kid all the time. And Max, let's be honest, you've grown quite a bit. So you've got two sides to this challenge. How do you maintain being still kind of a kid, but also growing up into an adult as you're doing on screen before our eyes. Yeah, I mean, I think that's, that's a, you're definitely right about me growing. Um, <laughs> I, I've, I've grown over a foot since the first season. Uh, He's taller than me now. I used to be taller than him. Thank goodness we filmed the third season when we did, because, or else I would have been taller than Toby and Ignacio and the same height as the robot probably. But um, no, I would say that, I would say that, you know, growing up on screen and then also in real life has, has definitely had its challenges, um, but I feel like I've been really lucky. I've been lucky to have um, incredible people uh, on set and off set uh, surrounding me. Uh, I've never had a bad day on set, I would say. It's always, it's never felt like work. It's always felt like, you know, showing up and doing what I love. Um, so as awkward as it can be, you know, growing up, going through your teenage years, uh, I've been lucky to have such amazing castmates and, uh, you know, and an amazing sister, amazing three sisters, I guess. Um, <laughs> and uh, so I would say that as, as awkward and challenging as it can be growing up, um, I'm lucky with the people that I've been able to grow up with, for sure. And Max, sticking with you, uh, Will is also getting a little closer to Dr. Smith. Can you talk about that at all without teasing too much? Yeah, yes, totally. I don't want to, I don't want to spoil the third <laughs> season for sure, because there's definitely some fun Dr. Smith moments in there. But um, I would say that, you know, first off, Parker Posey in real life, I call my aunt Parker. She's, she's, uh, she's become, everybody on set has become part of the family. Um, but Parker and, you know, Parker and I and Parker, and my mom, Parker, and my sister, you know, we all, we all kind of got really close. Uh, so it made filming some of those uh, scary, uh, creepy scenes with Dr. Smith even more fun. Uh, and I would say that um, Parker is such an incredible actress that when you're, when, you're, when you're filming a scene with her, I'll feel myself getting creeped out even though it is, even though I know it's just Aunt Parker, I, I'll always forget and really feel nervous being around Dr. Smith. <laughs> But I would say that the relationship between Will and Dr. Smith in the third season, without giving away too much, is it's a new, it's a new version of, of the relationship, one that we've never seen before, uh, because Will Robinson is older. He's not as little as he was, uh, and Will Robinson is a young man now. So he's, he's, he's developing his own thoughts, his own opinions, his own, his own place in the world. Great. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye.